Welcome back, friends. You know we start every day in a positive way, so why not start off the new year with some good news, am I right? So this week's Shot of Serotonin is all about good things happening to good people. So this first story may have you grabbing the tissue box for good reason, and I'm just saying you have been warned. Make sure you have your tissues. A um, 103-year-old man got the surprise of a lifetime over the holidays. He was reunited with his wife after she had been hospitalized for over a month, and the man thought he was ne he was going to lose her and never see her again. But eventually, she healed and was discharged. Take a look at this sweet video. I am love. I mean, the music kind of came in hot, but he yeah, was screaming, audibly yeah. screaming, like, oh, my gosh. Like, oh, my gosh. My heart just aches in the best way possible. So the Instagram user who posted the video is actually the granddaughter of the couple. And she kept it, captured it in Spanish, but when translated to English, the caption read, quote, this is how my 103-year-old grandfather receives the love of his life after a month in hospital where we thought he would leave, she would leave forever. How sad that things have to happen to realize that the lottery touch just, touches us every day with health, with family, and with the love of people we are close to. Yes, today is one more day that we have hit the jackpot. So I'm just like, oh, 103 years old, first and foremost, is already a huge accomplishment. But then to also have the love of your life still there next to you, Again, don't take your loved ones for granted. I know everyone says, hug your families tight when something bad happens, but really, hug your loved ones tight. Amen. Yes. Okay, so this next story comes out of uh, Kentucky. The Davis County Sheriff's Office hired its first ever deputy with Down syndrome. Yay! Yay! So this is Jeff Reinerson. He recently joined the sheriff, Sheriff's Office as a court security assistant. He was sworn in towards the end of last year, and he will be part of the Judicial Security Union and work two days a week at the Morton Holbrook Judici Judicial Center. I cannot talk. Uh, Davis County Sheriff Brad Youngman told radio station WBKR, quote, I couldn't be more excited about this opportunity to bring Jeff onto our team. Having known Jeff for years, this is a great way to increase our ranks with people who tr truly care about our community and have a strong desire to serve others. Now, Jeff, through Puzzle Pieces employment opportunities, has most recently been greeting and working with customers at Old National Bank. Um, his last day there was last week, and his new job post will offer him the chance to earn a competitive wage, awesome, and to broaden his customer service skills and commitment to community. So, I mean, look how excited he is. Look Good how excited job. everyone is. Jeff, I mean, that's awesome. The first deputy with Down syndrome to be working. I, I'm sorry if I missed it. I was so excited. Do you say where this was again? <laughs> it was in Kentucky. Kentucky, thank you. Davis missed, County. Thank in, you, thank yeah, you. in Kentucky. At so. their judicial center, which is amazing. Yes. So That's two amazing. Days a week. I know. Very exciting for him. I love you. Starting off the new year right. Okay, our final story uh, really echoes the sentiment to never take things for granted. I know I said that at the beginning of this, but really, let's not take things for granted, people. I know it can be easy to overlook simple things like a birthday cake on your birthday, but for one adopted boy from West Africa, it meant the world. Take a look. Happy birthday, James. Happy birthday to So this boy, his name is James. He and his brother Abraham were adopted from Sierra Leone, West Africa, by the Walker family in 2021. And their adopted mother, Jamie, captioned this video, quote, James gets his first cake. I was so sure his reaction would be simple, cool, and composed. That's his style. Well, silly me, the most intense hug I've ever had. I could feel his joy, his gratitude, his hope, his love, his everything. It was all there wrapped around me. Lucky me. I just love this. I mean, look how excited. A cake. It's a cake. the most simple thing, yeah. but it's his first ever birthday cake. And they, in a little bit more context to this, they had been talking about getting his brother Abraham a cake, which had happened before his birthday. So the fact that he still reacted the way he did is so special. Well, yeah. 
I so, love that. And I think, I think all of us, but me, maybe more so, um, I'll make it a part of my everyday routine to practice gratitude, whether that be in the form of, I don't know, making my dogs happy or making somebody else happy. Just gratitude for having the life that I do. So There you go. Yeah. That's so nice. Out of those three clips, which one was your favorite? Oh gosh, <laughs> they're all so good in some different ways. I, I know. I love. I love the, the the deputy sheriff with Down syndrome just because I have Down syndrome in my family and I know yeah. how wonderful they are. And I love uh, groups and organizations because I know my cousin Landon will be going into one where it teaches life skills how you can yeah. live independently and make a wage and live and have just an amazing life. Independence. Independence. I included part of that it. for you, by the way. Yeah. I saw that and I was like, oh, Jeremy is going to relate to that. Like, you it's, know. Yeah. And it's like you want them to live independent. And by the way, there's another season of Down uh, with Love coming out with shows Down Syndrome people trying to find love. Oh, okay. It's I, I reviewed season one last year and now season two is coming soon. And it's just like you're just seeing all they want is the same thing that everybody else wants. Yeah. It's I, I think I have to say personally that, I mean, they all were great. I, that's why I chose them. But my favorite one was the 103-year-old man reuniting with his wife. Granted, my grandpa's no longer here, but my grandma will be 102 this year. And so... How long were they married, by the way? I think 70-plus years. I was going to say, that's it's, amazing. Because he was 99 yeah. when he passed. Mm -hmm. And I think they got together when they were in their 20s. Wow. Maybe it's more than 70. It was a long, long time. I remember I was little and we celebrated their 60th anniversary. Wow, that's amazing. So. I'm just fascinated by that because I know how old Cubsy is. So I was just curious how yep. long, how long <laughs> they've been married. She's still kicking and thriving. Well, of course. And her birthday is coming up because our birthday is coming up. Yep. And it's on the same day as yours. And she'll be 102. Two. Oh, 102. Word. So, Anyways, I hope those stories oh. brightened your day and gave you that shot of serotonin that maybe you're looking for to start the new year off right. All right, guys. Don't go in there. So much more fun on Ozark's Fox AM coming up. We're after this.